Hi, I'm Casey O'Neill, and this is part of the 100 Testimony Challenge, where I talk about 100 stories of my life with Jesus. And today I'm going to be talking about Bible study. So I know many different women do Bible study in the morning, evening, night, whatever works for you and whatever can be very, very consistent for you is wonderful. And so for me, I love, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit this and I don't know, I, I don't know if I'll be judged by this, but I, I, um, I needed when my son, my son was like a toddler and I needed to start, I, I used to do my Bible study every single day before he was born, but then after he was born, just the rush of everything and um, just just taking care and making sure somebody else is surviving like constantly, you know, their, their need for you is so uh, constant. And so I just kind of fell away from doing Bible study. I would listen to sermons and stuff, but I wouldn't like get in the word myself. And oh my, getting in the word yourself is so much more powerful. And uh, so much, it just, it just, I, I, it just strengthens the Holy Spirit inside you in such a great, great way. And, and, um, and I, I know a difference when I'm in my Bible rather than, you know, just on a sermon. On a sermon, sometimes, though, sometimes like listening to a podcast or listening to something about the Bible or listening to the Bible even. Like, I know a mama who listens to the Bible while she's making uh, breakfast. I was like, wow, that sounds so amazing. Like, I need to try that. Like, I want to try that. I, I hope I hope I try that very soon and, and be able to share that with you. But hey, it's just, um, so Bible study, here I go. Sorry, back, back to that. So for me, at this time, I just needed, I needed to get back in the Word every single day and create a habit around it. And so um, for me, I do it before breakfast, before coffee, before anything. Uh, uh, or tea, <laughs> whatever, whatever you have. Um, I usually have tea. I don't know why. I think it's because most of the mamas like, they're like, I have to have my coffee with me. Anyway, um, so I'm, um, I sit down and I actually have a massage chair that I sit in because I think just like my back with chronic pain, you know, uh, in the morning you're a little bit more stiff and this massage chair just kind of like gently moves my joints and my back and helps, helps me get like, uh, moving for the day. It's like the first start of getting moving for the day. And so for me, I sit in my massage chair and I just read my Bible and sometimes it's 15 minutes, sometimes it's a half an hour. It really depends. Um, usually what, what I like to do is do my Bible study for 15 minutes and then do Declan's Bible study for 15 minutes and we kind of just um, have that time where where we get to like in the morning before breakfast it's Bible study time and that we just know it and it's just a habit and we just continue to do it and sometimes I do Bible his Bible study first and yeah sometimes he'll like run off and play and uh, we won't end up doing his Bible study until at night. And um, I really try to do his Bible study one time during the day. Um, and I know uh, a lot of mamas do their Bible study at night and then they get to pray and visit about it. And I, I do like that too, because then they're like kind of going to bed thinking about um, God's word and uh, just kind of processing it. And then it's like when you're going to sleep, like all the, your brain is like filing everything, making it um, kind of stick a little bit better or, but anyway, so I, um, yes, it, I know I made, it made a huge difference having a spot where I'm like, this is where I sit when I'm doing my Bible study. And so even when Declan, Declan knows if I'm sitting in there, I'm doing my Bible study. But yeah, so I, I encourage you, like, it doesn't have to be in the morning. It's whatever works for you, but create a habit around it, whatever it is, to kind of um, give you incentive to do it. Because man, when you get in your Bible study every single day, it's just, it's so much better because we make the right choices during that day. And I, I, know, I know when I'm not in my Bible study, for one, my patients are gone by like afternoon. I'm just like cranky and I'm taking it out on my family. Like, 
like even Declan will be like, Mom, did you do your Bible study today? Because I'm extra cranky. And I'm like, no! You know, I'm trying to shove something back into the freezer that keeps falling out. <laughs> like, like I, I need, I need God's word. I need it so, so desperately. Um, and on, on, um, for like for, for Sundays, I don't always get to my Bible study. You, you know, it's like sermons or, um, things like that. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So huh, I, yeah, I, I hope, um, I hope this encourages you if you're not uh, creating habits, fun habits, and it might be getting your coffee and then being like, I'm going to enjoy this wonderful coffee and sit here and just be in the sun. Or it might be something, but like add it to something that really encourages you to read your Bible. And it just, it, it, it helps because then I'm like, oh, okay, like I need to do this massage more of like mandatory uh, for my day and it just helps because then it's like, okay, my brain already says this is Bible study time. We're going to prepare. We're going to pray. We're just going to spend time with Jesus in this word. And, and it really, really helps. Okay. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that we can, we, we can thank you for your word. Thank you that we can come and be in your word and your whole, the Holy Spirit is strengthened through us having this intimate conversation and intimate study time with you. Like we get to commune with the creator of the universe and we get to hear his beautiful, beautiful words. And, and just thank you. Thank you that we um, have your word to be able to be strengthened. And um, that we can come to you about everything and we can go and search our Bibles and and find the answers that you want us, how you want us to live our life out here on earth. Lord, thank you for that. Um, I am I'm so grateful for all the stories that you've put in there. And, you know, I'm learning something new every single day. And I know um, any and everybody who goes into their Bible can learn something new each and every day and get a deeper understanding and a deeper intimacy with you, Lord. So thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching. Um, if you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. It does help. Um, and I would love for you to subscribe so we can spend more time together. Um, but also like no pressure. I don't want you to be like feeling like you have to do something like that. Um, but yeah, so I want to remind you, you are chosen. You are wanted. You are needed. And you are most definitely loved by God. You are loved by God. And that is just so wonderful. Deuteronomy 17, 18 through 20. And when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, he shall write for himself in a book, a, a copy of this law approved by the Levitical priests. And it shall be with him and he shall read it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God by keeping all the words of this law and these statutes, and doing them, that his heart may not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he may not turn aside from the commandment, either to the right hand or to the left, so that he may continue long in his kingdom, he and his children in Israel. Acts 17.11 Now these Jews were more noble than these in Thessalonians. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so.